What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Yavo, aka Django 3000, DB Crappy Fishing and Outdoors. Hey, you gotta excuse the video, man. Uh, we thought we was getting out here on this lake pretty early, man, but come to find out, man, early not early anymore. So, uh, we're losing a little light, man. So, I hope you guys can see me pretty good, man. If not, man, just, hey, charge it to the game, man. And, uh, we <laughs> believe we dead, we dead in spirit. But it's me again, Django 3000. I got with me my ace in the pocket, Lope the Assassin. What's up, homeboy? What's up, YouTube? About to go out here and put this work in. in the you heard it, man. We're gonna do put that work in. Well, <clears throat> we made a few promises, y'all. Uh, I don't know if you guys are members on our uh, Facebook page, but I told the guy, I told the well, I told the group rep, hey. Next time me and Lope go out there, now he was part of, he wasn't actually on the YouTube channel, on, on the uh, Facebook page, but we made a pack. But I told those guys, the next time we go fishing, just to prove to y'all that we put that work in, it ain't got nothing to do with the gear. It's about that presentation. We're gonna go out there with the cheapest pole that we could find and catch some crappy. Ain't that right, homeboy? Yeah, they gonna be so cheap, we gonna make them. <laughs> That's right, we're gonna make some ragged behind poles just to show y'all that we can put them out there, snatch them fish out the water and put them in the box, no problem. But, here's the but. We ain't got around to getting the poles yet, so uh, we're gonna stick to our other promise, which is, we promised one of our subscribers that uh, the next time we get out here in the lake and we put on some fish, we were gonna show him how long it actually took uh, for us to draw in the bait fish. So today we're gonna concentrate on one, uh, determining how long it actually takes to draw in the bait fish. And two, we're just gonna get back to basics, man, cause I had another subscriber say, hey man, it's been a while since we had a video from you guys, man. So uh, I, need to, I, need, I need to see some content, man, you know, hey. I learned a lot from you guys, man. Even though I haven't gotten on the water yet, I feel like I've learned a lot. So I said, like, keep it coming. So with that being said, man, you know, I, one, appreciate the compliment. And two, we're going to show you how to pull them fish out tonight, man. I don't care if it's a hard fishing night or what. We're going to go out there. We're going to catch some fish. And we're going we gonna to get some great footage. Uh, Lope, uh, you got anything you want to add about, you know, what kind of techniques you're going to use or what have you? Uh, not too much, man. Just doing my thing with my 14s and my 10s. I mean, what's your thing? What you what you plan on doing? Uh, I'm trying to see which one I get the most hits on, bro. The 14 or the 10. That's right. You didn't get a chance to do that. Yeah, yes, you did. Yes, you did. You caught a lot of fish that night. Yeah, but we didn't get too much of it on. <clears throat> on camera. Well, we'll definitely get it tonight. Yeah, we'll get more footage of it on camera. Let the people see about the 14, because you know most people think 14 just for trolling. Not for me. I use what I want to use. Yeah. So, and I, I mean, catch with every. I catch with ten and fourteen. I mean, are you using the fourteen just for? Uh, just to say, using the fourteen is a is it a purpose? Why are you using the fourteen? Like I said, my main purpose using fourteen is I like to have them outside the light. That's a little past the light, but I just feel like that's where the big boys hang out. Yeah. Have you ever been to the spot we take? I'm taking to you today. Nah, that's a new spot for me. All right. I mean. If I had to ask you, all right, you've never been in this spot that I'm taking you to. Okay, uh, what would be your uh, preference on a location uh, to chase these crap? Uh, from what I hear about this spot, my preference on location is uh, with, the, with the poles that I'm using, just hanging out, uh, probably about 14 feet away from the structure. And <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, and, and, and putting that, putting that, dropping that good presentation down on, and, and, see, and see what happens from there. What are you gonna be using for bait? Uh, I got some jigs. I'm gonna try today. And are you gonna try jigs today? Or you just saying? No, I got, I got my pole back there with the jig on it. My, my uh, seven foot, uh, uh, seven foot other skin. Okay. Any uh, special technique? Uh, not right off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little casting. According to where the fish is, I'm gonna do a little cast with one of my one of my poles. And I got another pole, I'm gonna throw a real small jig on a uh, red chartreuse jig and see that's that and just uh jig it right off right under the Okay. 
Well, uh, I'm definitely jigging tonight. You know, I had a guy, uh, shout out to Matt Cratton out there. Man, I seen this guy just pulling his paws one day. He uh, video chatted Big Mitch, and uh, he was showing us uh, some uh, techniques he used out there on uh, one of the lakes in Iowa that he fishes, man. I tell you, this guy is phenomenal on that water, bro. And I saw, I saw him pull in about eight fish, man. You know, he was using a, I can't tell you his technique, you know, you know, with uh, any kind of, uh, you know, heavy description because, you know, he hadn't gave me permission yet. But this guy, man, he got a, he got a great presentation. And you know what? It could be his location as well. I'm not taking anything from him, but I did. I, I, I truly, I sat him and watched this guy jig, cast out and jig like, a, like he was bass fishing. And he caught some great characters, great crap. So uh, shout out to you, Matt Crad. Uh Tonight, I'm, I'm gonna do something a little, uh, I don't, I don't, it's gonna be cheap for me because I'm gonna actually use live scope tonight. Uh, I normally fish tight line, crappy fishing, you know, over structure. I'm gonna do that, but Tonight I'm gonna have one. I'm gonna have a, a six foot. What is it, six and a half foot? Uh, yeah, six six. Um, uh, ugly stick. And I got it uh, set up with a double jig presentation. Pink, uh, pink one eighth ounce jig heads with uh, black and chartreuse and red and chartreuse crappy magnets. And I'm a jig, I'm a, uh, I'm a video game fish with my live scope for you guys, man, just to show you guys, we, you know how I do it all, man. But, you know, we normally just, don't just sit there and uh, jig the way I'm gonna do tonight. You know, we normally do our, most of our jig and trolling, you know what I'm saying? But tonight, I'm gonna show you guys, hey, we can do with jig too, but uh, I'm gonna actually have some minnows out there, tight line, and hopefully, hopefully I can get enough jig uh, footage in between going between the live and uh, the jig because y'all already know how it is when you uh fish with those uh live minnows man i mean the action is just non-stop so uh you guys hanging out with me man we're gonna have a phenomenal time tonight man it's been a while since we went been to oconee we've been our uh, last couple of episodes we've been to uh, lake st cloud we did some good fishing but our last fishing trip man it was kind of what you, what you want to call it man <laughs> you heard it, man. It was kind of horrible, man. It, it had something to do with the light, man. So uh, tonight, we're going to make up for it, man. I'm, I hope you guys stay there with me for the journey, man. So until we get out there on that lake, man, you guys hanging out with me, man. Them boys, DB Crappy Fishing Outdoors, man. We out of here. <laughs> see it where I see it but uh I turn to the left here because I got a lot of trees stacked up over here uh showing a lot of fish over here in this area so I'm gonna uh, cruise around here and uh check it out on 2D sauna in a second matter of fact let me switch over to it now because I got a lot of structure in the water let me see what we got okay I see some fish I want to see them stacked up. Turn back around. I'm in 23 foot of water. Get out here just a little bit deeper. Possibly close to this creek channel. We should be right here at the creek channel, man. Uh, I see fish, so once I see some trees, 
we're going we're going to kind of hunker down in those trees some, some heavy structure heavy heavy structure that's what i want there you are yo what happened came off bobby dog on You can't win them all, man. Here y'all, well, I'm gonna go back to side view. Pick up, pick up. Oh, snap. Oh, that's old footage. Go on. Okay. That's a lot of fish right there. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna turn back around and go straight back through this channel right here. We gonna set up for the night. Spin it around right quick. We gonna go back in those trees. See trees, the undersea tree structure. That's what I want right here. Foot of water, about 23 foot of water. We're gonna hold tight right here. That's where we're gonna stay at YouTube. Right, let's go to traditional sewing us. What we got? Yeah, we got, a, we got a lot of fish holding to the bottom, man. But uh, I can already see where the bait fish are coming up, man. So let's turn these lights on, man, and get this party started. Look at all those fish coming through here. All right, y'all hanging out with me. I'm gonna be right back with you. See, see the footage after I turn these lights on. All right, YouTube, here's the scoop. We just got bombarded by a thousand insects. I don't know what it is. Uh, not mosquitoes, just gnats of some kind. And uh, we had the lights off, cameras off. So now we actually get to see a couple of lights in the background. I mean, uh, insects in the background, but. For the most part, if you look at the deck, that's what we went through. So we couldn't we couldn't film much, but we done caught we done caught about seven slabs during that time. Uh, just pulled this one in. I'm talking about nice slab crappy coming through. So what we're doing now, since we got everything under control, we're gonna turn all the lights back on. We're gonna uh, buckle down. We're gonna give you guys some great footage, man. I know you didn't see me pull this in, but I just got this one. I had two at the same time. Both of them about this size. I got one in the box, I got about seven now. This is the one I just pulled out. So hanging out with me, watch these poles behind me, man, cause we finna catch some slabs. We are on, a low, are we on them tonight? All the way on. All the way on, we finna put in that work. So hang in there, catch some more crappy like this right here. Okay, YouTube, this is what we got right now. Uh, we in about 25 foot of water. Uh, over some submerged trees in a creek channel. Uh, we've actually fished this location before. So uh, we went back to it, uh, got out here kind of late, so the choice was limited. So we went back to one of the places that we actually caught fish. Uh, we didn't actually uh, search out in a new location, but this is where we are now. As you can see, the bait fish are in full run. Uh, took about 10 minutes before we drew them in. Uh, we actually got out here just before the sun went completely down, so it was it took no time to get the bait fish running once we started the lights up. And uh, as you can see, man, uh, uh, it's just a feeding frenzy right now. Uh, all that, all that cloud you see right here, that was a bait fish, and all the, the crappy that we actually targeting are running right below them, down to about 15 feet. So we're fishing about 10 feet deep, 10 to 8 feet, 10 to 8 feet deep. So the fish are biting up to get our minnows. Uh, we just got caught a little while ago in the midst of a feeding frenzy. Um, so, like I said before, we was in the middle of a swarm of insects, not mosquitoes, just some kind of, 
just irritating bugs, man. They didn't bite us. There was so many of them. They were getting all in your face and your, in your mouth and whatnot. So we had everything turned off. So we missed a lot of good footage of catching a couple of 14-inch slabs. So, uh, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I got one on now. Nice crappy, nice crappy. Hold, hold tight. Uh. Sorry about that, but we just pulled in one about a 13 inch crappy. Uh, give me a second and uh, I'll set the camera back up and I'll show you these fish. One second. Fish right here, like I said, about 12 and a half, 13 inch crappie. Nice, girthy fish. Um, I don't have my hat on right now, so I'm swatting flies with it. But uh, I just wanted a few I've already put it in the box. Uh, they're hitting tonight, that's all I can say. Just after, just like Lo said. Fish seemed to bite better right after a, a storm or some rainy weather. And as we were coming down today, it, it was raining, particularly it was scattered rain. So the roads were wet as we approached the lake, but it wasn't actually raining when we got in the water. But right now you can feel that look, that small, cool breeze in the air like after a, a summer storm, but it's not bad. Both are starting to subside. And like you can see right here, we're starting to pull in some nice crappy. So, you guys hanging out with me, man, as we pull in some more fish. Uh, in a minute, we're gonna put some footage over there on Lope. He's getting some lines back together, and once he gives me the okay, we're gonna turn the camera on. So you guys can see what he's actually doing over there. Hanging out with me. And we got uh, YouTube. We got a situation on board right now. Just like Lowe said, sometimes, you know, it ain't got nothing to do with gear and presentation. I'm at the front of the boat, 18 feet away from him. He getting hit by a lot of small ones, yet I'm getting these hauls up there. So he's back there trying to figure out what his presentation needs to change. Why, is, how his presentation needs to change. While I'm up here, I continue catching these hauls, man. He gonna change up the game. We gonna see how his fish turn out. Y'all hanging out with me. 13 years. Good night, keep it I don't know about, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it. You know, cause normally I keep these, so ain't gonna make any sense tonight. Got a young man in 
Danny Mo Fish, on by. We're gonna have to do something about that trucking schedule you on, bro. So when we go fish, you need to go fish. I don't know if I told y'all YouTube, but uh, y'all see that pride in my face. I'm here to tell you, Mo Fish is now a cap. That work in that right, no more fish. But yeah, we got some excellent footage coming up. I mean, more fish you gotta go. We're gonna bring more and more of them bars on this water, man. I'm trying to tell you, man, that thing's going to go and go. I better stick it out with you. We're putting in that work. I had to sift through them, you know. You know, these are nice fish to eat. This is really the best size of eating piece of fish, but they, I want them bigger. Hey, Shalai, where you been at, man? Oh, Shalai, man, don't want to no more, man. Shame on you. Shalai, on you. Ooh, that's a hey, nice one, one bro. <laughs> Please get him in. Please, look. Oh, that is 16 inch crappy man. I got you. Man, please hold that that thing up to the camp. You were up too good. You were going low. Yeah, but you ain't been to six times. That like he's about six pounds. <laughs> Ooh, look at that crappy. Ooh, look at that crappy. That's strong, man. No, couldn't even hold them right. Hold them on And you two, these crappy pulling so hard, I'm thinking they catch me. You know what I mean? young man and you know when you're at the right depth because they in hell them man i'm talking about that mean you got that bait right there in front of your face man. you hook them in the root of their mouth they good hook sink that mean they coming up and get it they coming up hit it come down but when they 
When that is down in the throat and you have to get it out, that means they, they flaring out them gears. They pulling that baby in, man. You know you right there in front of them, bro. So I'm going right back at them. I tell you, I'm having fun tonight. I'm waiting chunky tonight. Look at that right there. You see what I'm talking about? I'm talking about man. Everything that is, man. My, uh, the day is, uh, what's the date? Uh, Saturday going into Sunday. Uh, what's the date, bro? Man, it got to be 30. Get out here and fish Sunday. Sunday night, y'all need to get on that water. The fish are on fire, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. Look at this. Almost every fish I'm catching is size. What's up, homeboy? What you got going on back there, man? Hit it all, man. Huh? Hit it all. You got some water. Hey, look, you got some kind of categorization going on down here. Why you got some in a box and some in a cooler, man? You got people don't believe you what size fish you catch, man, so you have to show them some of these big guys. Sure, hold up some big guys, man. Just show them what's different between them. Grown man is and young man. They don't even believe that. Dude. Pretty nice uh, fish, though. 
Lord have mercy. That's pretty nice. Lord have mercy. Can I put my foot up beside it, man? So people can get up. Understand it. That's a good day. What you got there? What size you up? 12? Dang. So that's a what? 15 inch fish? Gotta be. Huh? Gotta be. Lord have mercy. So all of them you got out there 15. 14 and a half to 15 inch fish. That's right. That one might be bigger than 15 inch, man. It's possibility. Huh? It's possibility. And then you got these back here. Now, what, what, what possible? What are these? 13 inch? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 13 inch. Yeah. I see a, I see a frogging like hard in there too. Yeah, it's probably hard. And then you got a cooler full of what them 11 inch, 12 inch crap. Yeah, some of them 11 inch. Well, you know, if you caught all of them, that means you caught all the fish by yourself, then, right? Nah, nah. I think you did a pretty good stuff. Huh? What? Let me go check. Let me let me see what I got in here. You know, I got some people in the club that don't believe we caught today. What you say about that? Can you believe that, Lo? <laughs> I'm talking about that. They don't believe. What in the world is that? I want to see what it looked like on the camera. So, is that a limit? Or no? I didn't keep them left there with 13 inches. So, what is that? How can you explain that? I mean, there's a lot of fish in there, man. I mean, there's so many, they stacked up on top of each other. There ain't no room, room for them to even move. So, I guess, you know. It's just like what the professor say, you know. People ain't gonna trust you, man. So they ain't gonna believe the truth. So I guess we got a lot to them. Make it sound fly to them. That's what the professor say. Give me the water. They don't believe. Well, all jokes aside, that you too. Just like we said coming down here, we believed it was gonna be a phenomenal night, man. And man, our expectation was met and exceeded. Uh, we caught some big crappy man for it to be summertime. So I'm assuming it has something to do with the fall transition. The fish are staging in very deep water in, uh, in those creek channels. So you guys get out there and uh, hit them creek channel, man. They loaded with fish, man. Uh, uh, I can only tell you, man, fine structure, creek channels, about 25 to 30 foot of water. And uh, you're gonna find those fish, man. And I'm talking about it was non stop action, bro. Uh, all I can say, man, just hanging out with them boys, man, they're gonna get better and better. Uh, uh, if you've been following the channel, man, uh, Professor told you guys uh, we're coming up on our last couple of trips of uh, nighttime crappy fishing. Nighttime crappy fishing, so. Uh, we're gonna be hitting it up trolling, man. Going into the fall transition, man. And uh, some great fishing coming ahead, man. So you guys make sure y'all stay tuned with us, man, and keep up with them boys. Uh Big Mix gonna kill me if I don't say this. Uh we got some new merch out there, man. Uh hit us up. Uh YouTube uh at uh at Facebook is DB Crappy Fishing and Outdoors and uh uh on uh Instagram it's uh them crap them boys crappy fishing. At, uh, IG, hit us up. Uh, uh, Big Mitch on Facebook. He loves to respond to the, the uh, what you call it, the messenger. Uh, you can put in your order there. Uh, we uh, we got the uh, information on the site. I really don't remember it, what it is at this time. But hit us up on the uh, YouTube channel, uh, Big Mitch. Uh, he uh, direct you to Simone Designs. And uh, look, man, he got some great merch out right now. Uh, new. Uh, trucker hats uh t-shirts what have it man uh so uh till next time man stay with the boys man we out of here